Hello, elites, and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Cast Podcast. It's been a long freaking time since we had Weekly Cast, which is... Hi. <laughs> Hi. We're here with Kara and Kim. Hi. And uh, today we're going to talk to you. Josh is at uh, home. Well, actually, he's with his brother watching movies or some shit. So, yeah, he's got shit to do. But uh, we're here, and we're going to talk about some topics today. We're going to talk about the fast food life and how that works. How it works uh, being the worker. How much bullshit the worker. It's all bullshit. Everybody's bullshit. fucking bullshit. City people are bullshit, first of all. Or uh, ghetto people are bullshit. Ghetto yeah, people. Yeah. I mean, I'm not mad at all city people, though. But, like, 90% of them are shit. Well, um, some people downtown, that's especially... It. That's a speaker. Oh. Really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's dead. But, like, especially some people, like, who work in the offices, you know, when they come by, they come by, like, the regulars, they're like, can I just get this with this and that? And they're, like, really fast with their order. What's this? Kara's fascinated by the speaker that Josh brought over, <laughs> which it's already messed up and dead, so. You can just charge it with a phone charger. I can, You'd but. You'll be charging it right now. I called right now, but I don't want to. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, we're also going to talk about my move from Fazoli's to Noodles and Company. I shouldn't be saying that I work there, but I don't care because this isn't a video in the building, so it's not disturbing the workplace, so technically it should be legal. Um, how everybody's leaving Fazoli's, all the drama there, and uh, we're going to talk about um, what we were talking about earlier is how fucked up the generations are. So, yes, yeah. So, yeah, so let's start. So, earlier we were talking about, um, honestly, we, there's, like, usual customers who come in who, like, easily get their food and go and get out of our way. But, like, there's those customers who fucking come in and they change everything up. What are you talking about? The customers that change everything up. Can I get this? Is this strawberry non Oh, this bitch came in one day <laughs> and she swore... This ice cream was raspberry. I mean, it was great. It's not that big of a deal. But she stood there, and she claimed to want that one. And I was like, what one's that one? And she's like, that one right there. And I was like, bitch, what are you talking about? And then I scooped it, all of it, and she's like, wait, no, I want chocolate. Did you put the scoop back, or did you throw it away? I had to put it back. I'm not going to waste shit. It's like eight bucks. <laughs> eight bucks a scoop. Okay, it's like six dollars. I'm just over-exaggerating. But still, I was pissed. And then she just, yeah, she asked for vanilla frappe, but then she was like, but caramel. I want a vanilla frappe, but caramel. I was like, bitch, we don't make that here. It's vanilla. <laughs> Go to McDonald's for that bitch. So I fucking put caramel in it to make her happy. She have charged her an extra two bucks. <laughs> That's what she gets. Yeah, for being a bitch. I don't think people understand that. Sometimes they just cannot bend to your ways. What the fuck, dude? I mean, it'd be nice, because, you know, you want it the specific way. But just because one associate does one little thing for you doesn't mean they're going to do it next time. the first time she's ever came in, and the bitch had her eyebrows outlined in red. <laughs> <laughs> was her hair red? No. Her oh hair was black. God. Her eyebrows were black. It was just outlined. It wasn't drawn in or anything. i got to try that look for Lupe next time I do a Lupe skit. <laughs> oh I have a red pencil. In my bathroom. Kara wants to brush her hair now. Now? Oh, you know, another topic we should also talk about is how we're going to move out eventually, whenever that is. Um, you know, pissing me off. Every fucking Tuesday, a guy comes in for kids and he says, make sure the broccoli is not seasoned. But, you know, you wear it but in the morning every single time and it has seasoning. You can't take the seasoning off. Do you want me to grab a napkin and just, you know, wipe it off? Yeah, because we season it in butter, uh, pepper, and salt. We season it at Fazoli. I say we as in I still work there, but you know, it could be my company one day. One day I'll, I'll no business, I'll take it over. It's like, whatever. Why does Fazoli what the one place ever? to buy? Ever. Because then I could actually make it nice business and then I should make a lot of money off of it. Chop. Chop. You won't make that much money off of it when it's. Yeah, they only earn like they only earn like three thousand dollars a night maybe. But when it's um. <laughs> but when it's um. United States. It's like in the United States, like everywhere, right? There used to be one in Arizona, actually. They keep removing them from places. Yeah, but it so, sucks. Yeah, that's kind of a sign I that mean, they're, they're losing not business. that bad. 
but they're not that good either. Yeah. I'm like, they're okay. If you want some cheap Italian food, then go for it. Do you guys still get that one usual guy who comes in for kids' meal days, and he comes into the drive-thru, and he gets, like, 20 different special parts? That's the guy I was telling you about that wants the broccoli not seasoned. Oh, my God. I figured it was him. Who's like, can I get two kids' meals? One of them, uh, one of them Alfredo, one of them meat sauce, but it's fettuccine noodles with the sauces on the side. Can I get, like, three <laughs> toppings of meatballs? And, yeah. like, he's literally that special. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God. Packing for him was hard. I was like... Telling like, the new cooks his special. Uh-huh. Was like, They're like, I'm sorry, I don't understand. It's, just, it's like, just take over with them, please. Just just take over. <laughs> they suck at it. They really do. And then new people are interested. Wait, what? Oh, my God. <sighs> That's the thing they don't understand either. They're like, what? You don't know my order anymore? And it's like, dude, there's a new person here. The fuck? Everyone else quit because they're tired of dealing with your bullshit. <laughs> Oh my god, all these middle-aged people are so angry about life. Like, fuck off. Have you never worked fast food in your life? Like, you know. You know, some people just give shit handed to them. They don't have to work in places like this. They don't. That's what these jobs are made for, for, like, teenagers who can't fucking start in, like, nice-ass jobs with salaries and shit. Or, like, my coworker that's 27 and still doesn't understand. He was the only one who didn't get a raise because they want him gone. <laughs> They're trying to make him mad. I've been here for two months. He's been there for five years, and we're both at nine dollars. That says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot. That's really sad. And he was talking about getting a new job, and he went, "But this pays really good." And I was like, "Bitch, bitch. this girl that's been here for as long as me is at nine twenty-five. What are you talking bitch, about?" Bitch, I make nine fifty, and all I did was change jobs. <laughs> I should have done it sooner. I make ten. Ten seventeen. That's what her raise was. Ten, it was 17 cents. Well, my raise was 50 cents. <laughs> what the fuck? What'd you go? Oh. Yeah, and then other my, two other coworkers was a dollar raise. So one's at 11, one's at 10. But they're the ones that make the ice cream. Uh, I want that money. That really makes 10. I mean, not 12. Being a dishwasher. No, 11.50 dishwasher. 12. Just in there walking around looking at... In the office building, just walking around, not doing anything. But, I mean, you also got to think at my work, we have tips. And on a really good night, we can pull in, like, 50 bucks. Yeah, that's true. So, it's, like, another $2 an hour right there. So, that's also really nice. You guys don't have that. I mean, you kind of do, but not really. Well, people leave tips You're because... You're supposed to take We're supposed tips. to tell them, uh, sorry, we can't take tips. Because people ask me at the register all the time, like, do you guys take tips? And I'm like, no, I'm sorry, we don't. But, you know... You can leave the money right there, right next to the register. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. I'm like, here you go. And she's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> See, when my managers aren't around and, like, they leave it on the table where the dirty dishes are, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go clean that dirty table, okay? That's what I do. It's not even, I'm not even supposed to be a diary. I'm like, let me just pick this up for you. I'm, let me help you real quick. And I'll help you again. Right? Because I fucking work hard. I don't get that much money. <laughs> we're all going to have to make high salaries if we're going to move out. Or I mean, least- I think mine's a decent enough. Cause I, if I work full time, I work like I get like fourteen hundred, almost yeah. a month. So yeah, because that's not bad. Cause they're like, giving her crazy fucking hours. Yeah. For us, me, I'm getting like I, I wanted twenty hours. I, I okay when they were my, my getting my availability, I put twenty plus. They did give me twenty plus for like the first few weeks, and now for some reason it's like seventeen and now sixteen. They could be making you like low key fire. You know when they keep they. Have you ever given people less hours? You just want them fired, and you just give them less and less each week, and some you just like stop giving them hours. And just... I don't know because the excuse at Fazolas was like your performance has gone down. You're not doing as well. We're gonna give you less hours. Like what the fuck? Yeah, that's what she does. Carrie did that to me, and I uh, I heard about it from the other manager. I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean performance? I kick ass all the goddamn time, and because of my attitude, not attitude as in like, eh, I'm a bitch, you know, attitude as in like. How I felt about the job, how I talked about it, like, oh, this isn't a good job, you know, but shit like that. Yeah, okay, but like, <laughs> I, exp- I expressed like what the fuck I felt. Yeah, because like he did things the way he thinks it should be done, which is mm-hmm. actually. Good. And she's like, "Don't fight me, do it this way." I'm like, oh, "What the fuck?" <laughs> she literally told me, "Don't fight me, do it the way I like to have it done because it's more efficient." I'm like, in my head, I'm like, "No, it's not." Um, no, you <laughs> yeah. should be doing the way that's the best for you. That's what I do. That's why I tell her, I'm like, "Don't tell what to do. I can do it the way I want it to be." Uh, she's such a mess. She's been losing associates like crazy. Like, who's next to leave? Um, Isaiah. 
Yeah, job says that they will really be down to one day a week. <laughs> one day a week, <laughs> bitch. That's three hours. That's not enough money. Three hours? Yeah, we do three hour shifts, five hour shifts, six hours, and then for managers, like 10, 12. Yeah, I did 12 yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I did 12 hours of my second day. <laughs> she got mad at me because I told her I'm supposed to have an hour break in between. I was like, I just want to get this done so I can at least have an hour because I don't want to be a bitch, but I probably will be a bitch. He's like, don't even worry about it. You won't be good. You don't need the hour. I'm like, if I go over 12 hours and you get in trouble with the law, don't come to me because I told you I wanted to be. Stupid. I think it's like my first full week of working there and it was like 9 to 4, 9 to 4, 9 to 3, 12 to 8. Jesus Christ, they had you open every day. Yeah, I know. See, her work has a cool little app that tells her how much she makes and exactly... I mean, it's approximately. It's not. It's before taxes, so. That's good. I gotta figure it out on my own. Mm-hmm. But I hadn't opened to close once, and I about killed myself. I had to figure out how to uh, make mine exempt for this job, which was good because they take almost literally zero taxes. Almost, almost. There's like a few dollars. I don't know why. Yeah, they might take like fifteen bucks maybe. Mine used to take like fifty. If you look at your um take, like, your check, that should tell oh. you like what is all being taken out. Yeah, something like one dollar for Aurora, and I'm like this, all this other bullshit. Yeah, this was a long ass day, like twelve to eleven thirty-five. <sighs> yeah, because we couldn't get on time because there are people that want ice cream two seconds before we start closing up, and then they'll bang on the damn door, and somebody fucking lets them in. And I'm like, no, you're not letting anybody else in. I want to get out of here on time. Mm-hmm. Do not understand that. It takes me an hour to get home. I think that night I wasn't home till like 1.30, and that was the night that somebody got stabbed on the street. So, all the light rails were shut down, and I had to fucking walk three blocks to get another one, and I was... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you hate people. You might think Denver is like a normal, like, It's quiet not, city. bitch. It's crazy. It's not. It's just like any other crazy-ass city. There's but... homeless people every two buildings. Every two buildings. I don't even understand how close the buildings are, like, all one building. It's just fucking sitting in between of the buildings. And, and it always smells like money. piss. Oh my god, every single alley smells like shit. It's because they have like five dumpsters in between buildings. Yeah, it depends. For all it's kinds of It's kind of funny stores. though, they're kind of like trying to paint them and put lights in between them and make them look nicer. Yeah. <laughs> if you go down there now and you like look in between alleys, they're all painted and pretty with lights. I'm like, bitch, nobody's gonna go in there. It smells so bad. <laughs> nobody's gonna get stabbed or raped. And nobody's gonna stand next to garbage cans to hang out. What the fuck? It's so dumb. That reminds me of my city I'm building in Minecraft. I mean, you know, it looks cool, don't get me wrong, but people aren't just going to stand in there and, like, party. <laughs> but whatever, whatever downtown, do your thing. You're so <laughs> stupid. I don't know, I wanted to work down there. Like, when you I was, know, it's not, it's not that bad, it just kind of sucks. But, like, I was thinking it's of, like, a people. hotel job. Oh. Like, like not on 16th, kind of, like, near the convention center, there's those hotels. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of hotels in there. I wanted to work down there. The bitch said the only position they had to open was a cook. Uh, we're, they buffet cook. That's what yeah. they do. Which sucks because that's continuous cooking. That's nonstop. Yeah. You can't fucking take a break. Like at my work, once it gets dead, we literally could just stand there and be like, okay, I'm, I'm, let me just stock up and I'm done standing there. I'm just, that's it. Stand there. Um, and from a customer's point of view, that looks shitty because you know, why the fuck are you standing there? Make my food. Like, oh, bitch, you have your food in your hand. What are you complaining about? People complain. Exactly. People complain. Yeah, people complain about the smallest things. Yeah. I know one time somebody was sitting off to the side at Fazoli's. Remember the complaint? Somebody was sitting on break, and they thought they weren't on break, and they complained. But they complained about me, too. I think I was one of those people. They complained about me, too. She's like, she's just sitting there. She won't help me. I'm like, I'm on break eating. <laughs> what the fuck you need help for? You sound like you're drowning. Like, ah, like, wave your arms around the fucking dining room. The and fuck? there was, like, two people up front. I'm just like. <laughs> what do they expect? A little fucking bell? Ding, ding. Hello? <laughs> there was this boy that came in 15 minutes after we closed, and he started crying because we cleaned, though we put the spatulas away. And he fucking stormed out crying. Little boy? He was like 14. Four, I'm fucking dead. And he was like, I want this and that. And then Jessica was like, well, I actually just put the spatulas away. I can't serve you. <laughs> and he oh. sat down for a second. I was like, look, we're going to stack the chairs. And he stormed out and was crying. I want to go over fucking ice cream. I wish I could Ice see cream? That. There's a hundred ice cream places downtown. Why can't you just fucking go there? People are stupid. Was he by himself? No, he's with his parents. But still, oh. it's fucking stupid. The oh. parents were actually... We closed the doors on them because there was a line out the door. And I was like, look, close the door. Whoever's whoever's in the next group, just close the door. And then they let the people in. Oh, when no. they were the last one. Well, who was it? Your, your co-worker? That guy? What's his name? Nick? Yeah. Was it him? I felt like he would be the guy to do that. 
to let him back in? Yeah. No, like the people, the customers let them in. And I told him to keep the door shut. I was like, look, I'm just trying to get out of time. We got a lot of dishes. Because it's busy nights. Busy nights equals more dishes. I like to guy yesterday. There were like 12 sides of Alfredo. <laughs> yeah, but you guys have a dishwasher. Y'all don't have to sit there and hand clean. It takes me an hour to clean the dishes. I Carrie know. just bought some new fucking equipment, too. Yeah, Why? But it's a new mop. It's like supposed to like separate the dirty water and the clean water. It combines them together still. I'm like... Yeah, okay. She's like, it's supposed to make your mopping way more easier. I'm like, no, I still need to go back and change the water because, look, they just merge together. I usually just use one mop dump and I'm just like, sweep all the way done. I'm done. Yeah, I will not I reuse the water. Sometimes I forget to sweep. Oh, so sometimes I, like, I don't oh, sweep. Oh Dragging gosh. around dirt. I do that shit. <laughs> I'll just like put up the front door. Oh, it gives me in the morning. Sorry. Oh, okay. It gives me leaving. To be honest, that, that should be a little topic right there. Hashtag dirty secrets of fast food. Like, yeah. I do low-key do that. Like, when I, okay, so. It depends on how late you are getting out of time. Yeah. Yes. So if it's like, 10 minutes and you have, you haven't sweeped your mop yet, you're just going to mop. And say you go to school at fucking, like, you have to wake up at 6. Get ready and leave the house Which by I 7. I have to wake up at 6 and leave the house at 7 just to get to work. And then get to school f- by fucking 8 o'clock. For, I have to go to school. My schedule is 12 hours a day, basically. But I only have, like, one class in the morning, one class at night. Because that's all they had left over. So I have to go 8 to 8. That's why when I fucking work on the weekends, especially fucking Sunday. When Sunday they give me, like, 7-hour days. Oh, my God. I'm going to fucking just, like, have that shit closed and ready to close by, like, 6 o'clock when we close yeah, at Jessica 10. Jessica starts closing two hours early. I'm going to start doing that. She'll sweep and put all the rugs away, and she'll, like, stack <laughs> chairs at, like, 8 o'clock. It's, I'm like, start- 10 o'clock already. Because I have to, I got to go to sleep. Like, yeah. I... I'm yeah. going to have no time for you two like, anymore. All you need to do is dishes and the, and the box. And that's it. Just leave. Uh, and mop really quick. Yeah. Guys, I won't be leaving you two, but like, I have to like slow the fuck down. Like Literally one video a week, that's it. Like That sucks for me because I like having lots of videos. I like making thumbnails, talking. and. Well, you know what? While you're at school, you can make videos at school and then you can do like a weekly vlog. Vlog? What are they called? Vlog? Vlog. Video <laughs> vlog thing. Maybe. Yeah. That would be I don't want to vlog at school, though. It's kind of weird. Like, uh, uh, vlogging in a building with 1,600 people made me a little bit nervous. But now in a building with 21,000 people? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Unless there's other fucking vloggers on there who want to meet me. But, like, sure hello. Probably. Probably. No, I bet you there's, like, DIY girls down there. Like, oh, my God, you do YouTube, too? I do DIYs. Like, of what, nails? Probably. <laughs> DIY make your own trash can <laughs> to match your life. <laughs> fucking dead. Loki, good idea. I should do that. Become famous. <laughs> yeah, do it. Carol, That's kind of a good idea. I'm pretty sure people would be excited. Oh my god, trash cans! You can make your own trash can. Out of what? You can do that. I don't know, aluminum or something. So you can bend that. One of those like old-fashioned like Oscar the Grouch garbage cans. Yeah, and you can make. Ooh, that'd be kind of cute. You use a bunch of soda cans and you like cut them up and like staple the shit out of them in like circles. You'd have to be like. <laughs> that'd be a, a lot of cans. That'd be like thirty cans. Oh my god. Like a decent size. I wouldn't be the one drinking them. I'd be like, here, drink all this soda. I'd just dump it all out. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> oh, that's a waste. Oh, oh whatever. Oh. <laughs> I used to know, go through people's garbage. Oh. True. Yeah. 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 At work, too. Just, like, grab the can. Because we have cans. I, okay, Loki, I've been thinking about doing this lately. I want to do this, like, a DIY video. Oh, I don't want to start doing DIYs and follow the trend because it's I mean, annoying. it's a little bit of money, but... Yeah, uh, yeah, it is a little bit of money, but this it's one's... trendy. You'll get some but then this one's free. I was thinking of making a doghouse for Cheekies out of the cardboard boxes we have at work. Yeah. You know how every fast food place just throws out boxes of, like... Yeah, we do Like, too. sauces were in there or something like that. I could just take the boxes that are, like, really sturdy, cut them up into pieces, and kind of build her a little house, like a gingerbread-style like house, like, something like that. That'd be cute. For her to live in. I had a, a box house for her once, but my dad tore it up, and I think I... Who was it I told you about that? You right? Yeah, it was because, like, who locked the door that you couldn't go back in? Mm-hmm. That was the time I locked the, um... No, it was Angel that locked it. Yeah. What happened? So one time, because it, it used to be all of us at the Fazoli's who would hang out a lot. Yeah, Josh, Josh isn't there because he didn't start till the seven. Mm-hmm. But, like, it used to be me, Kim, this fucking kid, Luis, and then Angel. And uh, we'd all come over to my house, hang out at night, and then, um... Uh, uh, fucking, one time we were going out to somewhere, because we always went out, like, at midnight, one in the morning, two in the morning, to go to a fast food restaurant, so we're still open and eat, and, like, drive around the city and have fun, because Luis was the only one who could drive in his nice-ass car, and, um, fucking, one time we were leaving the house, and somebody, it was Angel, Angel accidentally, like, clicked the lock or something, or something, and the door locked behind us, so I couldn't fucking get in, 
the house. But um, everyone else had to leave. No, it was when you guys were leaving. Mm -hmm. Everyone was leaving. They were going home because, you know, it was like 3 in the morning. They're like, oh, I'm tired. I'm going home. So y'all went home. Angel locked the door. She was the last one out. And then I was trying to get back inside. I was like, okay, walking in. I had no shoes, no socks. I tried to open the door. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? It wouldn't open. And this was a nice door, too. So it was probably, like, worth, like, $300. And um, I just had to kick it in. I had to fucking kick that shit in. Luis helped me out. He kicked a little bit, but he didn't do shit with his little chicken legs. I fucking cracked that door open, like a perfect square out of the fucking door. You know how most doors have, like, a little, like, rectangular design punched into them? No. If you guys have one of those doors? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, one of the fancier kind of doors. Broke that shit in. Your and mom let me fuck her in the ass before I took this picture. What the fuck? She's not even hot. She's fucking ugly. Kara's on Facebook. Shut She's not up. ass fucking worthy, okay? <laughs> I don't know. What Anyways, Kara. continue your story. Anyways, yeah, the door. Um, and then I had like this fucking dog house I made for Cheekies out of like a toilet paper box. You know, toilet paper boxes for family sizes are fucking huge. So um, I was like, oh, I'll make it into a little house for her. I cut it up, made a little flappy door, a little roof. I punched some holes in it so she can breathe and not like suffocate in there. And I put her little her little bed fit in there perfectly. And I was like, yes. And she laid in it once. But then the next day, my dad came. And he's like, what the fuck? Why is there a hole in the door? Blah, blah, We need to fix this. The air's going to come in and make the house cold and run the air conditioning. Because it was in the winter, kind of. And um, it's going to cost mom dead money. So he ripped up her fucking dog. He came downstairs. He's like, give me something. Give me a box or something. Some box we can cut up. He grabbed her fucking house. I was like, no, don't do that. He's like, oh, fucking well. You did it. <laughs> Tore that shit up and fucking like made a fucking. He like. Take that shit to the door, the hole, so that way air doesn't go through and fuck the air heat, air heat, me, air heater up. Heater. <laughs> yeah. Heater upper. <laughs> the air heater. <laughs> that's funny. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I, one thing I could do is I could like um just take a whole bunch of boxes from work and keep stacking them up so I like I can cut up a house for her. I'll do I'll do it for a video maybe. Hey guys, so today we're going to make a DIY house, yeah. And it has I do have acrylics, but they're not enough. Acrylic what? I need a lot of paint. Paint. Acrylic paint. Oh, for what? To paint her house. You're not gonna paint the house with acrylic paint, bitch. <laughs> I can paint her a pink little Barbie house. <laughs> <laughs> Almost knocked that over. Kara, do you see the sound bar right now? <laughs> She's watching the sound bar go up. <laughs> We're waiting for the crunch. No, the anticipation of the crunch, ready? <laughs> Whatever jiggles your tits. <laughs> it definitely is jiggling them. Anyways, what else are we talking about? You too? <laughs> you make the least amount of noise. Every time you talk, it stays in the green. Yeah. Anyways, while they're snacking, we should go on to the next topic of, um, what is it? What was it again? What were you talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> That's the point of these podcasts, to just get lost in the conversation. Something everyone can listen to in the background while they're playing video games or something. I used to do that. I used to play, uh, Minecraft. I'm in Minecraft world. Y'all know my Same. Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah, I used to listen to Shane's podcasts. They're free. They're free. Hey, what's up, you guys? So today, I'm with Mamrie Hart, and we're drinking. Always. Always. Uh, what's his uh, new host's name? I don't know. Her name is like... Um, some bitch. Some bitch, but she's funny. Yeah. She has like a gap in her teeth, and she's funny as fuck. Rabbit Ashley. Gap <laughs> yeah. in your teeth. <laughs> Adventures with Laquita. Laquita. I haven't watched him in a long time. I haven't either. Oh, what else to talk about? I don't know. What's even going on? I moved. Oh, they already know that. Oh, yeah, Carrie. Yeah, I, showed, I, I showed them. I showed them yeah, it was pumped. Mm -hmm. um, pumped. Uh, we're going to move. That's one thing we're going to talk about. Eventually. Eventually. we got to wait for Josh. The main thing is we got to wait for Josh to come back from the military because he wants to go do, go do something about like going to Europe for four He's years. He's going to go to the Air Force. And I guess he's going to Europe for it for four years. Four years, gonna do some kind of welding or something. I don't know. I'm not sure what he's learning, 
but he's going to disappear for a while. But the thing is, the cool thing about that is he'll help us with money because that shit gives you money. Military gives you money. So, somehow. And then also, we'll all be like making our own money. Hopefully, in four years, we'll all have a lot saved. Kim will probably be the least safe because she still has a lot of shit to owe. I have $1,000 in credits. In credit debt. Oh, my God. It's mostly because she shares her account with her mom. Uh, my mom's a gold digger. Oh. Pretty much. At least I don't share my account with my mom. I she, mean, if my mom needs money, I'm like more than happy to give her like five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> to go where? I don't know. Buy yourself some tropical. Fucking cigarettes. I always tell her, if I give you money, you better not smoke. That's cigarettes. one fucking pack. No, I know. That gets you through like two weeks. So. Just kidding. Oh. It's like five days. Oh, no, 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 no. My parents are like <laughs> one, one fucking day. Your parents smoke? My stepmom? Oh my lord, she's a chimney. <laughs> she's a chimney. She just like one after the other. She's like, I'm stressed. I need That's to go. why Jeremy hashtag vapes. Vape nation. Oh my lord. <laughs> Your curls are so nice, dude. This is because uh, this is a result of just getting out of the shower. I wish and my curls were like this. This is like perfect. Oh, you're like pulling. Oh, some of it hurts. But it's like cute though. It's nice. It's like natural beach waves that every girl wants. Yeah, like mine just went somewhere. Yeah, ours are both just like frizzy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yours are more circular though. Mine are just like wavy. These just did it because I was sitting in front of the fan because uh, they were showering for like, like ten minutes. Like this is like my hair. This is like this, ish. I brushed it. Oh, a little Ow. Fuzzy. I don't brush my hair. I don't. Uh, in the summertime, I don't because I'm lazy as fuck. My hair is too curly to brush sometimes. I basically shower, go sit down in front of the TV, eat, and then um, record some videos, lay down, go to sleep, wake up, eat. Poop. That's the life of a YouTuber. Uh, well, at least my life. Most YouTubers are like, I make $500 a week for my um, YouTube. I can go ahead and buy all kinds of shit for DIYs, and I can also have money left over for... 500 bucks a week isn't even that much. Maybe for a smaller YouTuber. It's fucking Shane probably makes like 2000 a week. Or more. Now that he's doing bigger shit. He's doing bigger shit now. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I could make bigger shit. Get famous. Oh, okay. Let me jiggle my tits in front of the camera. <laughs> hey, you can talk to some YouTubers and be like, hey, can I do this with you guys? And then I have to go to California. That's where all the fucking YouTubers I live. You have to go there. Some people live in like fucking Michigan and Wisconsin, like those states that you don't remember. <laughs> okay, what Cheese YouTubers? Nation. What is that place called? Wisconsin, right? Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> fucking dead. Um, there's no YouTubers in Colorado, or maybe there are, but they're all the small timer ones like me. Because Denver's not that big of a city, like, as in, like, worldly known. It's getting there, but, like... Dude, there's, like, a thousand new people here every week. What do you mean? Oh, my God. You can barely breathe now. Dude, there's so many people on the light rail, I don't even sit down sometimes. It's that bad at 4 o'clock. And in the morning, like, if you're not, like, there in the front of the line, you don't get a seat. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Especially in the mornings. Especially during fucking school year. Oh, dude, you're never going to get a spot on the light rail. You're not. I'm going to have to wait for the next train. You're going to be there. Hell well, hey, at least I know all the times. Oh, man. I write it so fucking much, I know all the what? times. Oh, man. Yeah, the first one in the morning is at 8.04. And then it just every 30 minutes. Jiggle her tits. 8.04, 8.34, 8.16, then it's Jiggle her tits. It's like, Jiggle her tits. It's like every yeah. 15 minutes. At night, though, it's every 30 minutes, which sucks. But yeah. In the morning, it's... Like yeah. 10, 15. Yeah. Why do they do that? Why can't they just keep it the same? I don't know. I don't mind. I like, uh, well, I don't like it because then, like, when we adventure and we go downtown or something like that, then we're going home or waiting for so fucking long. Yeah, but at long. least I know what the times are now. I don't know what time to get there. <laughs> yeah. There's one at 404, 416, 424. <laughs> what the fuck? So what, every <laughs> eight minutes? Kind of. Kind depends. Of. Depends. Depends on what the time is, too, and if there's, like, actual things going on. Because usually now, like, during the weeks, there's always three. Three, uh, units on them. On a rail thing? Three carts yes, to a train. Yeah, fuck it is. Yeah, in the morning it's four. There's four Sometimes. Carts. Oh, but man. But usually during the week, and then the weekends are always two. They might as well add a fifth. Fuck, dude. Sometimes there's five on there. I've never scary. seen that. Maybe there's five. I don't know. Why is it scary? I don't know. You think it's going to fly off the trail? Yeah. The train? It's not fly off the trail, but it'll, like, hook off, and you'll, like, die. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, bye! You ugly as fuck! I don't know the whole thing. You know what bothers me? I just noticed that that's not centered. What is it? The window? The pole is above the window. Is the window? 
I think they are. We're no. just looking at it from a different angle. No. No. That one, this one on the left goes out more than the one on the right. I'm kind of a little bothered because, like, the bed is not... In the like center the of the way. window, either. Yeah. I just want this whole basement clean to the point where there's, like, no more... I call these areas these giant piles of bullshit. We garage sale, then. We did. Oh, we tried. Barely anybody fucking came. I made $3, bitch. You didn't put signs out. I did. For two fucking days in a row, for six hours each. $2. <laughs> Why? Guess what I sold? Socks. <laughs> Some old man came up. socks. Literally. It's not like coat. 50 bucks. Oh, uh, uh, no. I bought that coat for $100. It doesn't even fit you anymore. It will. I'll wear it. You have that for a year, Oscar. You haven't even touched it. It's been in the same spot. But you there's dust on it. You don't shake it. <laughs> but yes, I want these piles of bullshit, like stacked boxes and storage boxes of bullshit, of just full, full of clothes and stuff like that. Toys. Uh-huh. I want, I call Stuffed them, animals. I call each of the piles different cities. Like one of them, okay, that one's in New York because it's taller. And that one's California there because it sprawls outwards more. Um, And it's unplanned. And it's also full of shitty people. Um, <laughs> And then... I just want them both cleared because then I can fill up, like, better... So I could put my desk over there, have my bed right there. I could put the TV over here again, and I could have this area for, like, something completely different. Maybe, like, a, a green screen over here, like a studio part I bet when you move out, it's just going to be all shit down here. I'm not going to be able to walk down here anymore. Probably. Yeah, when I move Probably. out, my parents are just going to make this entire place Because when storage. I first met you, there was nothing over there. There nothing. wasn't. This basement was clean because they just remodeled there it. There was some shit back there. Yeah. But there, there wasn't, wasn't even a bed there. That's once I moved my bed in, they were like, "Oh, we'll just make some room to start." What oh, the yeah, fuck? There wasn't a bed either. I remember that too. I remember that. Yeah, for the longest time. Because Avery was trying to teach me how to dance. Too I remember that. Dance, so. I remember that. Avery was twerking on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and he loved the fondant. <laughs> the fondant. The fondant is good. I hate fondant. He ate so much, but he's like, "Who doesn't want their cake or their fondant? I'll eat it." I was like, "What the fuck, Avery? Calm down." <laughs> He's hunting it down. What I are you going to do for your birthday this year? I want to go to a fancy restaurant for once. Oh, yeah. And what then, else do you want to do? Do you think your family's going to do something big since you'll be 18? I don't think they give a fuck. No. My family don't care. Yeah, it's my not, family didn't care either. I haven't gotten a cake. Mom's like, the year's not over. I went to TGI oh, Fridays and that was all my birthday. That was my birthday. I got Chick-fil-A for my birthday. Oh, I always go to TGI Fridays for my birthday. Like every year. I want to go to... Um, I always go to Olive Garden. No. Chick Fil A this year. They want to take me to uh, Cheesecake for um. I want to. For a mac and cheese burger, That's which. Good. What does that even look like? Is it literally just mac and cheese, like a scoop in between two buns? It's a burger. And it's what's burger with like mac and cheese at the top. Instead of like a slice of cheese. Yeah. Oh, so then it just tastes like a regular mac burger then. Mac and cheese burger. She's looking up a picture. Are you looking it up on Google? Yeah. Mac and cheese burger cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Okay, cause I'm gonna look. I'm gonna Google it later, and I'm gonna put it on the screen. And be like, this is what it looks like. Which one are we looking at here? I'm guessing this one. Okay. Oh. This one. This actually looks really good. That actually looks like a lasagna, but it looks like it's just mac and cheese sauce. No, there's noodles. There's... I don't see the noodles. You don't see the. Oh noodles. shit! It's oh like my fried. lord! I might love that. Ooh. I can be even fatter on my birthday. Yeah, it's fried mac and cheese. Ooh, that's even better. Oh, my lord. Like Ooh, the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese are buns. Oh, my God. They stuffed it in the buns. How did they do that? You see, it's like, and they put your sides on the side, so if you don't want that. Your sides on your thighs? <laughs> that's where my sides are going to go. All my sides of fries I've are going to go I've never been to Cheesecake thighs. Factory. I just know it's really good. I've just never been because I'm a poor kid. i only been there that's, once. That's when I went when I was like five. No, I think that's how old I was, too, when we were actually making some money before our parents got to work. Uh, but, you know. Damn, that's dark. Are you tired? <laughs> a little bit, but uh, because I was up at five. Oh, I was up at five recording Plants vs. Zombies episodes and doing bullshit. But anyways, um, yeah, I want to try that. I've only been there once because I was curious to know what what they had, and I went in there. It's like bougie shit. It is. Oh. It's just bougie-ass, like, giant-ass slices of cake. And then uh, if you want to, you can go sit down and there's like a little restaurant in there and like um, like I mean, actual food. Me too. <laughs> yeah, we need like a little home gym when we move out. I mean, I have a gym in my apartment complex. I should probably go tonight and get a job now. I think that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to go tonight. It's nice when there's nobody in there, okay? Is it, it quiet? It yeah. Is it air I, conditioned? Yes. But I hate it when there's people in there. I'll probably only go for like a half hour. Though. I'll go with you. I want to go. Really? 
Well, yeah, bring some I like shorts or something then. Yeah, I I'm like just. Into leggings for yeah. that. I like going just on the treadmill. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. I don't walk though. I do like the stepper treadmills because I can't do treadmills that hurt my ankles. But. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind. I can I, go next to you though because there's like a treadmill next to this machine that I like, so we can go right next to each other. That's perfect. Watch some. Watch we go in there and somebody's using it. We should go I mean, though. Sometimes, but there's usually never like people at the treadmill and stuff. Usually, like weight trainer guys are in there. Ooh. At like late. Um, some of them are hot. There's like this one daily guy that has like a cute little man bun and his hair okay. is super curly. Look, on her floor, there's apparently there's people who live on her floor, like a lot of people on her floor. The fifth floor that look cute as fuck. Like one oh, time yeah. I was going I was going in the elevator, me and her, and uh this guy was coming out because the elevator opened up and it, uh, uh, he was walking towards us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's so hot you can't <laughs> I'm gonna do the fucking Trisha Pates ass. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Trisha Pates ass. She can't even do it. But anyways, um, yeah, like, what the fuck, dude? Cute. Fuck. Oh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you know what? Though I can like turn Netflix on on my phone. And we can just like. watch it. What are we gonna watch? I don't know. Food wars. <laughs> <laughs> Cupcake wars while we're on treadmills. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody ashes, like, oh, we're just trying to. Like, fulfill our cravings. I'm dead. See, I'm more confident when I go to the gym with friends. I don't like going by myself. One time I went, because my dad has one at his apartment complex. He, like, showed me how all the machines work. And he showed me this one stupid thing. That's, like, um, it's, like, a weird, like, triangle-shaped, like, table. Like, it's, like, a seat. But you can prop it back so, like, it lays back awkwardly. So it's kind of, like, your knees are the highest point of your body. And you're kind of basically doing sit-ups or crunches or whatever oh. off of it. It's stupid. I hate it. I was like, oh, this hurts. I was sore for like two days. I was like, what the fuck? My stomach was hurting. I need to do abs. I don't it was, know how it was do under abs. my titties that hurt. Gotta do some abs. I just want to work out because I saw myself in the mirror the other day because you know how I shower in the dark. For once, I showered in the light because there was a spider in there and I had to like kill it and I was scared that I was going to step on like a leg or like have legs in between my toes. <laughs> so I turned on the light. I was like, oh, I look gross. I haven't seen my body forever. I was like, oh, I got fat. I really did. So, yeah, I know. I told you you were getting fat. Yeah. You believed me. Yeah. I didn't, going out to look, Burger King I didn't want to believe you. <laughs> and Taco Bell. <laughs> look, Dante took Every this out Every day. <laughs> Every day. That's why I got this double chin now. <laughs> uh, don't make me put up your um your little body ice cream cone picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one time me and Kara went to McDonald's. You can put it up. It's fine. Yeah. I know I'm chunky. I mean, I've lost a lot well, of weight. Well, yeah, you've lost so weight. So, really like, care. so like, if we were to try to re replicate that picture or retake it, I would have to, like, I'd have to, put my, I'd have to I'd lick have the to sides. I'd have to put my sweater on, too. So. Yeah, and I'd have to, I'd have to lick the sides well, so it looks like a skinny you'd have to bum. lick the front, just not the back. The back's still really bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> See that? <laughs> she still has the back. Not as bad, though, but it's getting somewhere. You're losing it. You're, soon you're just going to have I mean, just the stomach. I just gained, like, two pounds, though. Two pounds is nothing. I know, I can lose that in, like, two days. I, I follow this gay porn star on uh, Snapchat. Bitch. On Snapchat. <laughs> and he's, like, um, he doesn't, this one, he doesn't post a lot. I, I, I follow, like, I follow, like, five of them. Uh -huh. Only one of them does, like, dick masturbating things, and it's like, whoa. But, like, the other ones are boring. They just show their lives with their shirts on. That's the most they show. I'm like, okay, good for you. Meet us at this bar at 5.30. We're gonna have a meetup. Like, I don't give a fuck. I wanna meet my porn star. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, no. <laughs> what if it's like a blind fuck? You have no clue. He's just gonna fuck you. Oh, I mean, just randomly just bend me over the piano at a fucking... <laughs> the at, piano. Uh, piano at fucking cheesecake. Like, I don't know. <laughs> no, but don't like... Don't come in the cheesecakes, okay? <laughs> I just started a little bit. Oh, why can't you pop the bubble? It's gonna stink. No, it's under the pillow, so as long as I don't lift the pillow. <laughs> but anyways, ye. Kara, soon you'll have... But, like, anyways, that porn star, he was, like, um... Because he does... He talks about weight, tra weight training, whatever. He's, like, built as fuck. He's, like, went two weeks without, um, my diet and just ha had some... Uh, no. He said, after two weeks of no diet, I'm restarting it, and, um... Restarting my workouts, I have I gained uh, two pounds and now I'm at 171. I'm like, bitch. And he puts a sad emoji. I'm like, you're not that That's fucking That's a healthy fat. size. Right? What the fuck? How are you that light with that much muscle? He's built. I'm eating a donut. <laughs> She's eating a donut at the moment. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck. I'll eat mine too. That means one of y'all has to take over and talk about something. I'm eating. I'm eating too. Oh! Ah, oh, the eating episode, I should call it. The food episode, I'm going to call it that. Muffin. Muffin. What's muffin? 
Sorry for you for now because it is. Oh. That's mukbang. People oh. Watch uh, mukbang is that weird thing. Mm -hmm. Where they're literally eating on camera. People get that money though. I don't. I can't believe people get paid for that bullshit. Oh. Uh uh, but. Is it stale? Uh huh. <laughs> I need milk. How stale is it? <laughs> <laughs> the sound Bitch. of that. The sound it made. <laughs> it went. I'll put it in the microwave for a second, too. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. It's not melt chocolate everywhere. Oh, oh. It literally sounded I like... I felt it. Like, I felt the other ones. But I didn't. I just grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> there was, like, two more that she could have grabbed. Uh, it's because they had the air conditioning on full blast. And, of course, it's pointing in the direction of the um, donut stand thing. And when you touch the glass or the area above it, it should be hot as fuck. No. It was not hot. The whole thing was cold. I was like, what the fuck? So all the donuts are... 7-Eleven doesn't give a fuck about their donuts. They don't. Their CEO should, though. Because I saw your undercover boss, bitch. I know you care about your donuts. I know you... <laughs> <laughs> Calm down there, dude. I know you wanted to do ch donate them to charity every night, but you didn't. Asshole. And what, the episode's like five years old? Uh-huh. Badass. Oh... I know you're talking about Undercover Boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 7-Eleven CEO made one. I was like, wow. <laughs> it's funny that bosses can't even work in their own companies. They work and they're like, oh, 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 man, and they keep messing up. I'm like, you made the fucking company. You made these policies, right? Shouldn't you know how it works? <laughs> yeah. I hate white people. That's how shelly. I feel like anything now you're registered. What do I do? I'm like, Oh my Bitch. god. And she's not even a higher up manager. She's literally one level up. She's outside of the restaurant, uh, management wise, but she's one level up. She's just like, you know, a supervisor. Isn't, she's a supervisor of the area, but isn't she also a general manager at a different facility? North Point. The one that's more busy, makes more money. But it's terrible when people, you know, like, <laughs> terrible when guests are with you. How the fuck does she not know the register? Do they have a modern register? Is that why? It's because our Fazoli's has the shittiest registers. Yeah, you guys registers from like 75 or something like that. <laughs> no, probably like 93. Do we use like an iPad as our register? That's mm. our register is an iPad. It's not bad. That's bullshit. It fucking sucks. Is it slow? Um, That and sometimes it won't read the chip reader. So you have to take it off, disconnect the whole app. You have to restart the iPad and re reconnect everything. Oh, it takes like my five Lord. fucking minutes. And people are just like, oh my God, just give my car back. I'm like, I'm sorry, it's not going through. And then if it doesn't go through, you got to swipe it. Then it's like, you need to insert the chip. And it's just an endless circle of bullshit. <laughs> At least deleting and voiding shit wouldn't be a problem. Because like... Well, sometimes if the chip card doesn't read, then we'd like disconnect the whole thing. And we like turn the no, chip No, but I mean like, I mean like, if you're charging somebody like for a specific flavor or whatever, or size. We don't, we don't charge by flavor. We charge by size. Okay. We charge away scoop, basically. So then y'all are kind of lucky because us, like, say somebody's like, I want to split any sauce, and then you type it in, and the cook's already making, and you're like, oh, wait. They're like, oh, no, wait, never mind. I want to fetch you up. And it's like, oh, my fucking God. Sometimes deleting it is a mess. It doesn't want to do it. Or you got to get a manager key to do it or some bullshit like that. It's like, oh, my fucking God. You got to tell people yourself. You got to be like, look, don't make this bullshit. Change it to this. Well, I'll fix it in a second, okay? You know, I hate it when people get banana splits. Oh, because that's hard to make. And when there's a line out the door, <laughs> that's the only time people want banana splits. And they want every topping on it. Uh, that's how people are. And they can't figure out what kind of ice cream they want because they can have three different flavors of ice cream. Mm -hmm. so Fazoli? I stand there and wait for like five minutes. And I'll put like one scoop on there, like chocolate, and it takes them like four minutes and it's like melting in my hand. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Just <laughs> pick out three flavors. Just do all chocolate, do all vanilla. What's so hard? This guy got a root beer float. With cherry ice cream. Isn't that disgusting? That is. Why don't you just get vanilla? So I don't know why people are like that. Or they do it with like mint or something. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> it hurts you. It's gross. How oh. do they even like go together? I hate when it's drive through And it's like, you have two cars ahead of you. And there's just like really like family orders and stuff. And then a third car comes up. Oh, I just want a cheesecake. I'm like, could have gotten sad and get a cheesecake. I'd be that person. <laughs> I guess they don't care about their gas. Well, especially now, because for some fucking reason, we keep driving around the city. One gas station said $1.97. Another one said $2. I was like, what the fuck? 
This is going to make more people move here or at least come into this area just for that. They're going to be like, oh, I live all the way north of Colorado. I'm going to go all the way down to Aurora where it's ghetto and fucking get some $2 gas instead of $4 gas. Like, <laughs> I do that though too. Yeah, I kind of now want. You can get a full tank for two, like not two dollars, but if you have like ten gallons, that's only like twenty bucks. Yeah, that's how much mine is. My car's ten gallons. Bad gas, that's really good. It is. I might get gas tonight again. I mean, knowing that gas in Arizona was like almost five dollars a gallon, and out here it's always been less than like three bucks. It never reached uh five. It was. It was at like four or what? Four something the highest. Oh, maybe like a couple years ago. Probably. I've never seen that four before though. Oh man, I love that it's getting to an all time low. I've never fucking seen it reach under two. My dad's texting me. What do you say? What the fuck? My dad's telling me to say five thousand dollars to buy a really nice car. I'm like, bitch, I'm not I'm not saving that much. I want a car like now, not like four months from now. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get a car in like a week. Two weeks. What are you gonna get? Mm, probably a Jeep. I'm gonna get a Honda. Mm. And then I have, like your short on the pants. Yeah. I just want something that's a nice for winter, I guess. Your car's gonna have a, bar- a really bad time in winter. Right? I yeah, I can't that. drive in the winter. Especially I know. going up this little hill, you're gonna have to take the back way. One time last winter, um, it was just parked on the driveway where it is. And it snowed like fucking, it was that time it snowed like oh, literally yeah, this tall. Like three feet. Almost a, th- oh, I guess three feet. Well, it was probably it was like two a foot. feet, because it was like almost halfway up the door of my house. Me, it was like, as soon as I opened the garage, it stayed up that high. It didn't like collapse. It like stayed up this high. Yeah. I took a picture of it. That shit was crazy fucking insane. Um, my car, we were shoveling around it, and then when I was trying to, like, later on, they took the car somewhere, and then they tried to drive it back. They couldn't get it across the fucking uh, snow, because what was underneath it already, that we kind of shoveled around it, yeah. kind of like froze and got harder, so it was kind of hard to drive over. We had to like... Yeah. Like, yeah, we had to hit that shit hard just to fucking park the car correctly. See, that's why I don't want that problem. I don't want a car. I'm, like, too scared. Especially if I'm going to go downtown at least three times a week. Like, I don't want to That's it. when you should just start, like, going on the train for just that season. No, well, yeah, for winter, definitely. But it's so nice on Sundays because it's free parking downtown, so. Yeah, Sundays? Sundays? Yeah, free parking. If you can find one on the streets, free parking. Which you can. You just have to probably park on, like, 18th. But, <sighs> but then who wants to spend that much gas going all the way downtown? It's not even that much. It's probably like not even half a tank. Yeah, literally, it's not. It's literally like what? Not that far. Maybe a fourth a tank. It's only like a 20 minute drive. It's like you driving me from the house, from my house here, and then Josh all the way over there and then back. That's basically how it is. That was probably like a 15 minute drive. 15, and especially minutes. if you just go down Colfax. No, yeah, Colfax will be like that. But then Colfax has a lot of stops. People tell me, like, take oh, the yeah, highway. But no, don't take the highway. No, don't take the highway. You can always take Alameda. Or you can take, yeah. Alameda. People told me to take 13th also. 13th gets you there too. 13th there. Those are your tips for when you are you're new to Denver. You want to go all the way to downtown from like Aurora, which is just east of Denver. People are like, where is that? And I'm like, bitch, look, look right. Right there. <laughs> it's right on the map right next to us. You know, we're kind of in the same highway area. That's how. And I was talking to my uh, learning resource tutor. Uh-huh. She's just like, where are you from? I'm like, Aurora. She's like, what? I'm like, we're Aurora. Over it's there. right the fuck there. Follow the, the, the dirty brick road and you'll be there. <laughs> Colfax. I'm like, literally, ma'am, it's 20 minutes away. You'll get there soon if you just take Colfax. And she's like, really? You're from there? I'm like, no. And then when people, like, what if they have heard of Aurora, they're like, ew. I'm like, ew, you bitch. You come from the snottiest fucking place in Colorado, which I heard one time, northern Colorado, the richer, like, oh, more yeah. snobbier parts, one time they wanted to split away from Colorado and become their own state. I was like, no. <laughs> Sorry, you can't do that. Mm. Fucking stupid. What are y'all going to do? Buy a wall or something? Honestly. Come on, Donald. From 2016. <laughs> what would they call themselves? I don't know. Snoblandia. Probably like like North Colorado. North Colorado. That's how basic people are. Like North Dakota and South Dakota. Oh, yeah. North Dakota. Ugh. Then we'd have to call ourselves South Colorado. And there's West Virginia and just Virginia. They're not even West and East from each other. They're like kind of like... They're like diagonally. diagonally. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know why they're like that. Stupid. Those are the only states, though, that are directions. Yeah. Have y'all ever learned about this? I've literally watched a series on Netflix about how the states got their shapes. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never. It's a documentary on Netflix? I think it's on Netflix. Maybe we can watch that when we're at the gym now. Burning off these fucking 
Donuts. Burn out the donuts? No, I'm trying to go backwards like a whole month of <laughs> burning out. I'm going to go fucking yesterday eating Panda Express and a whole bunch of other bullshit. Honestly, though, like... The day before. I wish you could do burn calories like that. Like, burn... You, like, you kind of... Like a debt. Like, paying off a debt. Yeah, but it doesn't work like that. Calories for yesterday are gone. Yeah, they're all set in now. It's a new day. They're turning into fat as we talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? At least they're doing something. I'm just... Yeah. The, like I mean, pool. sleeping, you burn some calories. You do. Oh, we do have a swimming pool. We can go swimming. Oh. Um, Wait, I think it's... Like, I don't like swimming. I don't think it's 15 or 10, but... Okay. I don't like swimming. What the fuck? It shows my titties. Wear a shirt. I'm gonna look like fucking... I'd wear a shirt. Just like <laughs> panties. I don't have a bathing suit. You're gonna wear panties? I mean... Those are gonna fly up your ass crack like a canyon. <laughs> Any bathing suit would do that, though. That'd be a good rap song. Ass crack canyon. <laughs> Probably already a thing. Wait, let me go see. Ask Cat Canyon song. Or even just there's a song about banana pancakes. If there's that, then wait, there's... who is that by? I don't know. That sounds familiar. Is that Andy Milanakis? Do you guys remember? No. Okay, oh, uh, if you guys are OGs to YouTube and you watched YouTube for some fucking reason when you were a kid. What was I? Ask Crack Mountain. Ask Crack Canyon. But like, if you watch the old fashioned YouTube with like skits and shit like that, like fucking Liam Kyle Sullivan with shoes. Or like Andy Milanakis with his weird ass shit, or there's like. Ass crack bandin. Oh, there's a butt crack song. Oh God. I'll play that one. And then there's also um. What the fuck? Oh my fucking dead. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why is Mickey Mouse singing? Why is this like a reggaeton like? <laughs> Sounds like a Tina song. I can already imagine Tina doing her dance to it. My fucking god. Is this all it is? I think it is. Not even a bridge. Every song should have a bridge. There should be a bridge about right there. Mm-hmm. Butt cracks. Butt cracks. Yep, there's oh the bridge. <laughs> if I would have started YouTube in 2006 when I was old enough, this would have been my first video. Well, here's another one. I would have done the weirdest shit. I'm your butt crack. I'm your butt crack. What the fuck even is this? This sounds like the Family Guy theme song. Whatever ass crack bandit is. Ba- ass crack bandit? Oh, this is like an actual fucking song. Yeah. What the fuck? Fucking dead. That's me at work. Did I pull my belt tight enough? <laughs> oh my god. There's actually a music video to it too. But it's like it's like a real like I like my butt crack. <laughs> ba, 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 crack. That should be a ringtone. <laughs> yeah, it probably should be. It's still a tiptoe. <laughs> mine mine is still the fucking um I'm so freaking pissed. I got off the table literally like freaking Shrek. It's on Zedge on my phone actually. Yeah, I, I like Zedge. Well it's kind of cool, but I mean, like I told you about it. I wish they had vine ri- ringtones. I bet you they have a vine ringtone app. Cause I want like bitch huh every time someone texts me. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? My pussy pops severely and yours don't huh? Here, let's see. Alright, ringtone time. My phone's way over there. I don't know where it's at. Oh, that one's dumb. Okay, that's every YouTuber. <laughs> you searched a vine, right? 
They don't have good ones. No cheese. No cheese. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> P.O.P. On my watch. Oh. What you wearing, joggers? Arrow. <laughs> Oh, fuck this. Oh, it's the watermelon guy, whatever his name is. The little kitty cat that goes, yams. Really, nigga? What? You love my dad! You ugly noodle head looking ass. Yeah, I have Ebola. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have that one. Oh, I make it fallen. A potato floor. I have, I actually bought like a, a vine soundboard. Look, hold this. Where's my um phone? Hold my, hold my laptop. Where's your phone? Where is my phone? Okay. This is the where's my phone segment. Where the fuck did it go? No, no storage in my day today. <laughs> Kara was doing this weird ass noise. It's got, uh -huh. Um, Kara was doing this weird ass noise every time I took like a really rough ass turn when driving. She was like, ah! <laughs> she made like a little, like a weird penguin noise. Ah! Expose you! Expose no, look. <laughs> That's my favorite one. It's a great one. Is my favorite one. But look, I have I have this Vine soundboard now. I didn't buy it. What am I talking about? I didn't buy it. But like, it has all kinds of good ones. Like, huh? I love these fucking things. A potato. A potato. Okay. Look at my. Okay, those are ones that are. But like, this is Kim's favorite one. I saw the video of it. It was like on TV or something like that. Why is there a, a name for that sound? Rika Ozika? Ozika? That's my that's my drag name now. That sound. Ozeki. Why is that? Ozeki. Whatever. <laughs> broom, broom. I fucking love these. Which way? Look of these nuts. The fuck? The fuck? <laughs> I fucking Have you ever seen that one? I, I try to catch Kara up on vines as much as possible. <laughs> I did the thought um, braids once at work. Thought braids? The braids that you have, the ones that the girls do their hair down in the middle and they have the braids right here. The ones I do. I did that. Yeah, the thought braids. <laughs> They're cute. I'm going to start using the soundboard when I do weekly cast. Okay. Like when somebody's talking about a topic and, um... You're screaming. Like, say I'm talking about a topic, that's that loud one. That's almost like the sound you made in the car. Oh, hell no. But, like, say I'm talking about a topic and Kara gets pissed off and she, I'm like... Why are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> My pussy pop severely and yours don't... My pussy pop! So if my pussy pops severely, snap, and then you don't. I think it's almost over. Yeah, it is. All right, so we got to start setting our goodbyes. We don't have a minute. We do. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We, have, we have until it says recording 30 seconds left. Oh. That's how it works. They're not used to the YouTube recording life. They're going to get used to it when we move out. I'm going to have my bedroom as a studio. So I'm going to record all I'm going to do like a side ponytail when I work out and go like this. <laughs> anyways guys that's it for this weekly cast podcast thank you so much for watching it was fun um now me and Kara about to go work out and kim i don't know what you're gonna do when you go home um, eat no I'll probably take some pills take some pills you know pop some pills yeah. <laughs> pop the molly i'm sweating <laughs> Woo. <laughs> <laughs> um and then I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to come back and record some more videos for you guys. A lot, as always. Of course. I don't know. Maybe I'll stay with Kara and bother Kara all night. I have to go to sleep at 8. I'm tired. Well, no, I just want to see my nephew tomorrow because I work at 4. Uh-huh. So she has to wake up early. Yeah. Well, anyways, leave a like and 
Uh, leave a like and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video that I create. Subscribe today if you haven't. And uh, tell someone else about the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, elites. Goodbye. Hmm. <laughs>